So, what do you get when you cross Silent Hill, Clock Tower, and a Korean Valley girl who is the least socially aware of her surroundings person since the daughter from the movie Touch of Satan? You get a very confused me. That's what. Hello, this is the Chief Chocobo himself, Alan, here with Media Moogle, and today we're going to take a look at The Coma 2 Vicious Sisters, developed by Dev Espresso Games and published by Head Up and Whisper Games. This title successfully blends two pioneers of the survival horror genre into one unique, stylized, and atmospheric package. This game threw me for a loop when I first started playing it. After the opening cutscene establishing Mina as the main character and her friend who is in a coma with an amulet, you're given 15 minutes or so to center around the main character having just a normal day of being a stereotypically annoying Valley Girl High School student set to some snazzy jazz pop. Be honest, I thought Old Gamer Joe psyched me out here and gave me a dating simulator to review instead of a horror game. But true to form, my unintentional goth month continued as this game swerved me at just the right time. Moments before I was ready to dismiss this title and quit, my character wandered into an old storage room, found a mysterious book, and passed out, waking up into what only could be described as Korean Silent Hill. I began to explore my surroundings while the crisp visuals and gorgeous sound design quickly set the tone that I am not in for a safe or tension-free journey. In fact, when it came to the presentation, my only complaint was that, according to the church bells, it was apparently 97 o'clock. The music was a little repetitive. I have to say, though, that I went from being bored and ready to quit to invested rather quickly. Gameplay is very simple. You run, you hide, you respond to quick-time events, and on occasion, you nearly crap your pants. This game does a great job keeping you, the player, on your toes with its pacing. There are moments where there are hands or bodies dangling from the ceiling and you have to hurry and evade them, while there's other moments where you're waiting for an enemy to stop flailing and hope that the game doesn't decide right then and there to spring a chase on you. The visual and sound design work well with the limited gameplay structure to create a constant tension or anxiety as you are never sure when something is going to attack. This is also coupled with the fact that your character is, from a narrative standpoint at least, a complete imbecile. Yes dear, shout into the unending void. Surely nothing bad will happen. My biggest tip for any of you looking forward to this adventure is to always make sure you have some mace in your inventory. Speaking of inventory, this game does a great job making resources scarce, as you can only hold four items at a time, making you stay on your toes trying to ensure you're using uh, minimal use of said items. This isn't Resident Evil levels of scarcity, rather it's inventory management done well to complement the journey before you. Overall, I definitely believe this game is worth your time if you're a fan of classic horror games or just horror games in general. It is the perfect game to pick up and play in short bursts, and there are hidden notes in each building that are sure to scratch the itch for a completionist and lore nerd like myself. So the only question that remains is, are you brave enough to endure the coma and uncover the hidden lore all around you? If so, keep an eye out on Steam as this game is scheduled to release from Early Access on January 28th of 2020. This has been Alan with Media Moogle saying sayonara until next time. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, let me guess. You're gonna be like the uh, pyramid head of this game, right? Oh, no, honey, you're not this... You are that stupid. You're gonna call out to the void. <laughs> no, I, I should just let her die. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's not Miss Song. Alrighty. Ooh. What do we got here? Oh, great. Same reaction I get every time I ask somebody out. Alright. What's gonna happen now? Oh, dear God. Go, go, go. <laughs> Uh, okay, she's gonna hide automatically here. Ooh, quick time of that. You're a genius, Mina. Run, move, stupid, go! Oh god, oh god, run! <laughs> oh crap, oh crap. Open the door, open the door! Oh, 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 I might live. Did that work? Oh, I sprayed her with mace, good. <laughs> run, go, oh god. Run, run, run. You pooping stupid, quick, yell out and avoid some more! If you're looking for video game reviews, podcasts, and more, please be sure to visit MediaMoogle.net as well as the MediaMoogle YouTube page.